today, your phone and TVs will blare an alarm. It's a national test. It's similar to the Amber Alerts that you get on your the phone. The whole idea is just to make sure that you get notifications in case of a national emergency. Wednesday, October the 4th to 11. Uh, my son actually said that they were with a guy today and he was just acting strange. He was just seemed very nervous and real anxious and just fidgety or whatever. And they were like, you all right? Like, you gonna be okay? So the guy finally spoke up. He's like, man, I'm, I'm freaked out about this emergency alarm test that's gonna happen today. At 2.20 when the alarm goes off, they're gonna activate all the 5G towers. And anybody who's been vaccinated is gonna turn into a worker drone. <laughs> And he said, Dad, this guy was dead serious. And he went on to say, I didn't want to get that vaccine. I knew I shouldn't have got it. And I'm scared to death I'm going to turn into a, a worker drone. My son said, all right, man, good luck with that. <laughs> How do you respond to that? What's up, Internet? Current 1776 here. Hey, sitting here at my desk, and I just remembered that this alarm national alarm thing or whatever supposed to be going off here so it got me to thinking that was a pretty good time for me to chat to chest to test this silent s-l-n-t silent little uh faraday bag <laughs> sent this company's gear out in battle box a few times over the years they're great let me get it out of this bag if you're not aware of what a Faraday cage does or whatever, basically it blocks, it's a black hole. In an escape and evade situation where you don't want to be tracked, you don't want your whereabouts known, you want to be completely freaking offline, drop your phone in there, key fobs, your, your Apple watches, you drop them in there, seal it up, they don't exist. You're not getting tracked electronically. So I'm gonna drop my phone in here, okay? My phone is on, Wi-Fi is on. I'm gonna drop that in there. And we're gonna close it up and uh, see if my phone goes off. Now, what I wanna figure out is, is this is, is this gonna block that transmission? Yeah, right here, I just got a message from uh, one of our coworkers. Be ready, get your tinfoil hat hats out, stay away from your phone or any <laughs> digital device. 220, you'll turn into anything you normally see dead on the road, I warned you. <laughs> Well guys, that I heard if you sit on your phone, you'll grow a tail. <laughs> so, Ben said, wait, I see Godzilla coming out of the Atlantic Ocean. <laughs> All right, so apparently it's happening now. So Shay got it. She said it didn't even make a sound. It just popped a notification up on her phone. She got a screenshot of it here. Another coworker, Walter said, lucky you, it didn't have any sound. It was loud and annoying. Ben said mine was on vibrate and all it did was vibrate, so it didn't audibly do so. so I don't know if I, if I haven't heard my phone do anything. We're gonna open this up and I'm gonna try to pull the phone out real fast. So we're gonna go outside and we should get service once I pull the phone out of the bag because it shouldn't be. So it should be if the bag didn't do its job. I should be getting an alert or a vibration or whatever right now, and I'm not. It's like this phone doesn't exist right now. Something to think about. So like if this thing, I don't know what camp you're in, but if, they, if this thing is designed for true emergency situations to alert people, which it should be, right? I don't think anybody's turning into worker drones. I don't know, could be wrong. I haven't gone to town yet to see. But um, it would be a bad thing, like if it was a serious, like, national emergency like you know we're under attack or something like that uh, people who don't have good cell service or who don't have cell service at all are probably going to be in a different situation because they won't know what's going on and maybe they're in a great situation by not knowing what's going on but anyway i digress so let's pull this thing out and see if i get an alert an alert now Try to be quick. So that Still got nothing. I'm establishing signal. I got my Wi-Fi signal. I've got two bars of cellular signal.
And uh, yeah, if you're wondering, that's a kudu from Africa. I really want to uh, go hunt one of those one day. So I keep it on my phone for inspiration. Um, yeah, so I got cell signal now. Still no alert coming through. Very interesting. So do I not get it at all, ever? Oh, what was that? No, I was just wanting to know if I want to unlock because it sees my face, technology. But according to my coworkers, they only got it on their phones. They didn't see it on their computers or anything. And I never got it at all. So it's 2.40, October the 4th. I did not get the alert. It works, real life work, right? First time I can like actually test it was something that was supposedly gonna be going out to everybody, was supposedly gonna be coming out of TVs and freaking everything. I have not got it. Thanks to the silent Faraday bag, y'all. All right, see you next time when the government sends stuff through the air to us. And we know about it. We know it's coming. All right. Love you, mean it. Bye. Is that a zombie? Is that a, is that a zombie? Nah, it's just my goat. Yep, goats. <laughs>